Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 23 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over the world. And I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Daniel S. from Queensland, Australia. And if you remember last week, uh, Daniel was asking about how Adele moves quickly from register to register. She moves from head voice to chest voice very fast, and she has that very unique ability to do that. And I promised you guys that I would give you an exercise this week that can help you to move back and forth quickly between registers. But before I do that, um, let's just talk on, in another sense about what Adele is doing with that uh, quick alternation, and it's essentially a yodel. If you guys don't know what yodeling is, it's that uh, sound. It's like a Bavarian Alps uh, call to sheep. It's the sort of yodele hee hoo, yodele hee hoo. Okay, now it's kind of silly and ridiculous, but that's what a yodel is. And even though we don't really do any yodeling these days so often, uh, you you hear what is truly a yodel in pop music going from head from chest to head voice really really fast. So um, we're going to do a yodel exercise today, and we're going to also see what the benefits of yodeling are uh, for your voice, um, and it will help you to do some stuff like Adele is doing. So we're going to dive right into the exercise. Um, take a listen to this. <laughs> do on an E. E. I'm going back and forth between chest and my falsetto. Now ladies will be up here. E. Okay, so we're going to do this together and see if you can go from chest to head or chest to falsetto back and forth with this exercise. Here we go. job. So it's tricky and it's kind of weird, but that is moving from chest to head voice really quick. Now we're actually going to speed it up and we're going to try an ooh vowel. This might be tough for some, but I want you to go a little bit faster so that you get that yodely quality and you get to move as quickly as Adele is in a lot of her songs. So we'll do ooh. Ready? Here we go. stuff. So that's a yodel exercise. Again, it's kind of weird. It's kind of goofy, but think about it. Isn't it actually kind of weird how Adele goes so fast up to head voice like that? I mean, it sounds awesome, but it actually really is a crack of the voice. It's kind of a yodely sound. It's just that when Adele does it in the context of her great songs, it sounds totally awesome. But really, 
it's yodeling. And so if we have an exercise like that, we can, we can do a lot of things. Let me just talk about the, the, the benefits of doing something like that. First of all, like I say, you get to do the cool tricks that Adele does in her songs. But also, the vocal cords naturally want to stretch out and lengthen and separate like that. So it's really good for your voice to do that. It's allowing the cords to do their natural function. They just want to have that kind of flexibility. They want to crack as you go higher. So by allowing that, you're really building in some flexibility to your voice. Now, flexibility will also lead to better agility. And so you'll find that by doing this, you'll be able to move faster. Your riffs will get better. You'll just be able to actually probably sing higher notes, period, due to greater flexibility. And it can also improve your vibrato. So there's tons of reasons why allowing the voice to do that, to crack and to go back and forth like that, is actually a really healthy thing and is a skill builder as well. And then finally, another benefit to yodeling is attracting sheep. I'm sure that if you do this exercise enough, there's going to be hordes of sheep uh, coming to your door. And if you, you, if you do it well, you're going to in increase your flocks and you're going to have an abundance of sheep as well. So obviously, uh, that's just a joke. But I do think that yodeling is going to be something that can really help you, as strange as it may be, to develop some of these coordinations in your voice. So Daniel and all, I hope that's been helpful for you guys today. If you have questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. So we just encourage you not to lose that joy, don't lose that passion. Don't be afraid to experiment with weird and goofy things like yodeling. I just know that if you work on something like that, it's going to give you some new coordinations in your voice that you never thought were possible. Get with a great voice teacher in your area. If you guys are in New York City, you can check us out at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And if you like these videos, you can visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.